Hi, Barbara. It's me, Joyce. I'm right here. I'm going to be uh, critiquing your work for you. You should have received, um, you know, uh, an image, this a copy of this image, and you can just print it out and follow along like we did last time. Um, the top one I'm not going to critique right now because I have a feeling that whatever happens here, you're going to apply it to this one up here, except for there's there is a shadow that we can talk about um, later on. But it, as you see here, um, I was showing I was showing Tina from uh, North Carolina that um, you know how she can actually add some blues to add a shadow up here. Um, and if you have any questions about that, I can show that to you as well. Now, my suggestions are, and my critique is um, you've got some beautiful darks, which is great. And um, all these beautiful darks are wonderful. However, I feel like some of the shapes are still a little too big, you know. Right in here, do you see how they're a little bit more divided up? Um, right in here, you can actually do the same thing. Uh, maybe this area is not a good example, but I'm, I'm thinking about in this area and and see There's a big jump in here, and I'm going to show you Glaze I'm, okay. I'm going to show glazing and breaking up a little few more areas and detailing We're going to detail out your statements. Okay, very easy quick little critique because I know I know you know what you're doing and I can see it in your work and it's just a matter of uh, uh, the time that we have before you know you hand it in and um, anyway so here we go so here's your critique okay so let's say I have one big jump from one shape to another shape right here to here and that might happen in this area over here well if you have too many of them, now everyone now and then it's okay because the light does stop abruptly on these flowers. But if you have too many, it's too jarring and the eye's not sure where to go. So let's come over here and just glaze. Okay, you can take a uh, phthalo blue. You could take a lighter pink if you like. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and just glaze a little bit, and that is very dark as you can see, but um, you know, just glaze right over these bigger shapes and have them uh, blend together, okay? There you go, right in there, right in there, down, down, and down, okay? And uh, don't hesitate to break up those shapes, okay? And, and then you'll just move around and just keep adding a little bit here and there. Um, let's see. Uh, we're going to go to this area right in here, right in there. We're going to talk about this, how to darken this a little bit more. And um, what you can do is you can actually mix up a dark green, adding the uh, permanent alizarin crimson, okay? And you can take a damp brush, a clean damp brush, <laughs> and you can re-wet this area if you like. And mine's already dark enough because I just demoed this to Tina on hers. Um, I will be demonstrating, I'll be um, posting a lot more demos this week, okay? Um, and here we go. So then you can take your dark, dark mixture that you've mixed up in your palette. It could be as dark as, um, you know, almost a black green, if you like, and tap that in. You can just tap it in and get it to move, get it to move. Just hit it with some quick brush strokes, quick, quick, quick. Okay. And that's going to give it a nice dark movement. Now I can see on yours, you've got green in there and that's great. So I wouldn't go as crazy as dark as this. Like up here, look up here. You can actually, um, if it's green and it's you want to just add a little bit more green to it and you don't want to go that dark, that's fine. That's fine. And you can come in here and just add a little bit more. What I'm trying to do is get you to darken this 
circular area so it really lays down and it, and it sets back because then all of this is going to pop, you know, the center part. So I'm painting up on this one, but I, I, I actually am talking about this, this flower right here because this is already dark because it's in shadow and that's good. And then, but you can add, I'm just going to, I'm going to come over here and touch it up. Can you see that? Yeah, that's going to work. Let's just paint right on here. Hmm. There we go. And then we can come in here and tap, 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 tap. Boop, 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 boop. See that? Oh, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> so it's just as easy as that. Now, if you want, you know, if you wanted to do the wet and, you know, wet the whole area and then drop it in and let it just kind of bleed, or if you want to just go in there and detail it, wh whichever, whichever is your um, choice or favorite way to paint, that's fine. Okay. So we're just trying to set that back even more because you want it to look like it's sinking in. Um, let's see. We're going to talk about the stamens now, and you can come in there. And when you look at the, when you look at these um, these flowers, they the stamens are basically yellow, but some of the they're they're kind of transparent, so they will have a little bit more movement. So you can come in here and just drop in. It's, um, I'm using like the permanent alizarin crimson and I'm adding a lot of water and you can go back and forth and it doesn't have to all be the same mixture. No, you can just drop, 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 drop and drop. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And then as you're moving up, you're going to want to include the tops of the stamens, not on every single one. You don't have to do that. Um, take it from me. I, from one that has painted every single one. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And then I'm going to send this to you and you'll be looking at it as you're watching the video. Pretty cool, right? And, um, there you go. So see, a little more detail, breaking up the bigger shapes and, um, darkening right in here to give it some depth and you're in. That's going to be perfect. You, um, again, I, I'm going to do this because I found that this really does work. I can paint right on this print of your image. That's cool. I just discovered something new, Barbara. Thank you very much. Okay, right here. See that? I'm glazing a little bit of blue in this area. And it kind of brings all those shapes together. Okay. There we go. There you go. There you go. Down here, there's darker shape. And we're looking for, you know, like, Oh, I see. You know what you can do here? You can take your dark blue and back here you can glaze a little bit more blue here or even you could do it with a red. Okay? And then what happens when you glaze this one back, that one pops forward and I think that's what we're looking for. This is really dark. I'm so sorry. I'm screwing up your your image here. But um but you kind of get the idea, right? So Here's this. I'm going to see if I can catch it before it dries. Um, this is like the printer paper. Who knew you could paint on watercolor? Um, but what I'm trying, what I was trying to show you was right about here. Okay. So, so we're trying to get a few more values in these, um, petals, a little bit of movement. We want to see movement here and here. And, 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 and that gives it, um, that gives the flower a little bit more body and depth. Very good, Barbara. Okay, I'll be talking to you soon. And we're going to, um, this week we're going to be working on the white flowers where we'll be finishing this. This background, we're going to change it to the light blue background. And I'm going to catch up on this other painting I'm working on to demo demonstrate that. And we can demonstrate these too, if you like. Um, in the video, I did notice that we talked about that a lot. So, so the next, uh, the next two episodes, you'll see that. Okay, and I'm excited for the background, you guys. This is this, um, this is gonna be fun. If um, okay, so that's it. T uh, tomorrow, next day, next day, you'll be hearing a lot from me, and we're gonna finish this up and get it varnished and hung, and have uh, a beautiful piece of um, artwork for you. Thanks, Barbara. I'll be hearing from you.
have a good Sunday and I, unless your Sunday's probably already over with. So you'll be seeing this maybe by Monday. Bye.